Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. In our most recent classroom session, we made a presentation to the class uh, regarding the complete instrumentation sequence for the preparation of a class two uh, amalgam, interproximal amalgam. The emphasis during that sequence that was placed on the use of hand cutting instruments for refining the preparation was very minimal. Uh, it is the purpose of this brief sequence to amplify a bit the application of the instruments, the hand grasps, and the position and action of the instruments, particularly, of course, with reference to the interproximal aspect of the two-surface uh, class two amalgam preparation. On camera, at the present time, we see a model indicating the proximal or viewing the proximal uh, of the preparation. And the application of the hand instruments relates to the refinement of the proximal, uh, axial, and cervical areas uh, of that particular uh, preparation. If we switch our attention to the, the graphic, the limits placed on access to the proximal area by the position of the approximating tooth make it very difficult to utilize rotary instruments to develop a flat, properly defined proximal wall without serious hazard to the approximating tooth. It is extremely difficult, if not impossible, to complete the amalgam preparation utilizing uh, rotary instruments exclusively. Switching to a life-size mannequin, typodont, and placing a 57, 57 fisher burr in the proximal area, we can readily see the limit of access for such burr and the immediate hazard to the uninvolved approximating uh, second bicuspid. Therefore, the importance of refining the buccal proximal, lingual proximal, cervical, axial area rests largely with the hand cutting instrument group. On the tray, we have an assortment of enamel hatchets, chisels, and marginal trimmers. On a close-up, reviewing briefly the difference between the chisel and hatchet in reference to the blade position, on the right is a chisel in which the cutting edge is 90 degrees or at right angles to the plane of the instrument. The instrument in the middle represents a hatchet in which the cutting edge is in the plane of the instrument. The instrument on the left is a gingival trimmer, which is a modified hatchet, the modifications being the curve to the blade and the 95 centigrade angle of the cutting edge in the case of this instrument, 
to the central axis of the two. To refine the proximal box of a class II amalgam preparation on the tooth 19, which has been roughed out but not finished, we would apply the H1, H2 type enamel hatchet, in this case to the proximal wall, the planing action would be essentially directed toward the cervical, developing a rounded buccal proximal cervical angle and extending across the cervical floor, smoothing, smoothening the floor and sharpening the internal line angles, buccal proximal axial cervical line angles. Switching to the left of the pair and applying the instrument to the lingual proximal wall, again we are planing, removing extraneous rods, refining the wall as well as the line angles extending across the floor into the cervical area. With the T1 instrument, the gingival trimmer, we refine the cervical cable surface area, cleaning up extraneous enamel rods sliding down the lingual proximal using a lateral scraping action and a pin type grasp. This is a modified bevel, the intent being to eliminate unsupported extraneous enamel rods. With this same instrument as we see on camera, we will round over or blunt the axial pulpal line angle, which was sharp and angular. And this would complete a practical sequence of hand cutting instruments, refining the proximal of a class two on tooth number 19 amalgam preparation. Switching to a class two amalgam preparation on the mesial of tooth number 14 and utilizing a Wheedlestat chisel in the refining of the buccal proximal wall, the action of the instrument with the mirror and utilizing a palm and thumb grasp is the support of the instrument against the thumb or on the ball of the thumb with a slight rotating, rolling action uh, down the buccal proximal wall into the cervical floor, defining the buccal proximal cervical axial line angles with the Wheedlestat, which has a, an angulation, a blade angulation of about three centigrades. If we switch the instrument to the lingual proximal, utilizing again the mirror and the palm and thumb grasp, the action would be similar, planing the proximal wall and moving across into the lingual cervical, or to the cervical floor, sharpening the line angles cervically, axially, and lingual proximally, axially. Switching to the 1068 chisel and positioning with a inverted pen grasp, it is possible to plane the proximal walls with good visual access following the same format. The instrument in the plane of the wall moving down the wall in a cervical direction, utilizing the mirror view, 
The lateral scraping completes the section relating to lingual proximal cervical utilizing the inverted pen grasp. Switching the same instrument to the palm thumb grasp, applying the blade to the buccal proximal wall, we would effect the same type of refining action, namely planing the wall in a cervical direction, sharpening the internal line angles, and a lateral scraping action to refine or complete the refinement across the cervical floor. Now, in situations where the tooth position is in a more posterior area, then say the first molar, going back to second molars, uh, distals and maxillaries, it may well be necessary to select a chisel such as the uh, 10816, where the increased angulation will give substantial improvement uh, to access. It is not uncommon to use this same instrument in the refinement of the axial wall and the axial proximal line angles buccal-lingually and also in the refining of cement base work which may be positioned in the axial cervical proximal area. The completion of the refinement of the class two amalgam preparation on tooth 14 surface 1-5 will be done with the application of the T1 or T3 mesial margin trimmer to the cervical area. The action of the instrument will be to slightly back down the buccal proximal wall into the cervical floor, cable surface area, using a lateral uh, scraping action, switching uh, to the left of the pair, backing down the lingual proximal wall into the cervical floor, we use the modified bevel or trimming action of the instrument to reduce or eliminate extraneous uh, enamel rods. In completing this sequence, we would also utilize the same instrument with the lateral scraping action to blunt or round over the axial pulpal line angle. The mirror position may be modified or eliminating the mirror and utilizing the instrument with a two-hand grasp with direct vision is a, an excellent way also of utilizing the trimmer in refining the cervical floor in this particular position. With the left hand stabilizing the instrument, better control and direction can be achieved. And this completes the refinement of the class two amalgam preparation utilizing hand cutting instruments. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.